Are you tired of the same old boring, charred, and burnt laser engravings? How about stepping it up a notch with some colored resin infill? Now, mistakes have been made here. This is my first attempt, so please be gentle. Now let's get into it. I have recruited the We Create Vision. It is a 20 watt dialed laser, and I really dig the autofocusing on this thing. Now let's see if it's up to the task on uh, giving me a nice deep engraving. Since Christmas is coming up, I decided to engrave this uh, bamboo cutting board. Now I'm going to just use the camera to place uh, my image onto this cutting board, and I'm going to pick my uh, material. Now since this is bamboo, it's not on here yet, and thickness doesn't really matter since we're not cutting into it, but I'm going to just go with the 5mm cherry wood. Now, since I picked the material, I can actually go down into preview and select um, what I want. Let's go with uh, this one right here. When I click on it, it's going to be the 78 power and 55 millimeters per second in speed. And I picked fill engrave. And I'm going to do an autofocus. And then I'm going to click on start in the upper right hand corner and start the job. Now, since this is such a deep engraving, um, it took about two hours to complete this. And you'll see definitely some charring on here, and that's typically what happens when you go a higher power at slower speed. But we might be able to clean this up. Since we're using colored resin, uh, we really need to get rid of this char, and I really do not feel like sanding any of this. Now let's do what I call a cleanup pass. We're going to set the power at 40 and the speed at 200 millimeters per second. Now I've never seen anyone do this, but uh, in my experience, this can actually clean up some of your charring. Look at that. It's like magic. You can see it's like erasing all the charring inside. And you can do multiple passes if you need to. So let's take a closer look. Look at this reindeer. It's literally like erasing the char. That is pretty darn cool. Bet you haven't seen that before. Now, I actually ran two passes and I really didn't see much of a difference, but you can see all the inside charring is practically gone. Just what we wanted. Realizing that I'm going to be using just a minute amount of resin, but I'm going to have a lot left over, I decided to let's make some ornaments. So with the WeCreate um, Make It software, you can see how easy it is to do you know, batching here. You could just align it, drag your files into here, and you could do a whole sheet and you could have nice spacing. It tells you it auto aligns. It's a really nice way to um, get a whole bunch of stuff done on one sheet of plywood. And I will provide, uh, you know, where I got these files down in the description. Now I'm just going to fine tune this a little bit, make sure everything's lined up where I want it. And then I'm going to choose um, uh, cut, not engrave. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we select a, the correct perimeters here. And so as you see, when we go to cut, everything is in red. So let's go ahead and select all of them. Then we're going to hit cut, no, not fill engrave, cut. There we go. And then we're going to click on the material behind it to make sure that we have the correct material laid out. So this is three millimeter basswood. That is correct. We're going to make sure that we pick that and then we're going to click on the autofocus just to make sure that our material is focused. And that's one thing that's really unique about this laser. Watch it autofocus. It's pretty darn cool. Now I am running this job with Air Assist and this will cut it all in one pass. It's uh, at 8 millimeters per second at uh, max power and you can see that uh, it was actually going at a pretty decent speed but now faster since I did the time lapse so let's see how well it cut it out and see if all the pieces actually just fall right out which it looks like it does and uh, I better stop now because otherwise I'm gonna have a big mess on my hands now I could have used some like painters tape or something to help reduce the charring around the edges here and what you could also use is some alcohol and like a um, just like a paper towel or a, some type of towel and um, you could get rid of a lot of the charring just this way however since i'm going to be sanding i'm not too worried about this at this point anyways now i'm just going to glue the backings on these ornaments uh, just a few dabs of gorilla glue and um, 
just press them. You don't need a clamp or anything. They'll stick mighty fine just like that. No clamps or anything. And here's the big um, setup. Everything will be down in the description from the coloring to the hardener or the resin, except for the scale. I don't even know where I got that. And then you could just buy some gloves, a mask and safety goggles. You definitely want the, don't want that resin in your eyes, mouth or on your skin. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Now the dye or the colors is non-toxic and it's actually kind of used for like makeup. The resin that I picked out is a one-to-one -one mixture for hardener and resin and it's also safe once it dries. And I did make the mistake of asking the wife if I should do it in one color for the cutting board or multiple. And this is why you see me doing this is because I went with what the wife said and now I hate myself for doing it because I have a lot of extra resin behind and I wound up throwing it away. And um, it takes about 24 hours for this to cure. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like now. Now you can see some of my mistakes, especially the red. The red was actually level by the time I was done and it started to settle. And by that time I wanted to get back to it, it was all hard. And um, so I did the rest of them kind of went above the layer and that way I could sand them down later. Now I would suggest uh, wearing some eye protection and of course a um, dust mask or something because you don't want to be breathing any of this in as you're sanding. Depending on how high your resin is depends on um, basically the grit you're going to start out with. Uh, typically you would may want to start with a 240 and then work your way up to a 500 or 600 and concentrate on your high areas. I'm actually concentrating on the, you know, these circles here and the wording mostly because that's where my high spots are. And I'm periodically checking my level to make sure I'm not going too deep. Now these ornaments were a last minute decision and these were kind of like to the surface filled with resin. As you can see, it did shrink and settle a little bit. And now most of these are below the surface. I mean, from a distance, they will look pretty good. Up close, maybe not. I think maybe that five foot rule. Now I am using the cutout to hold these in place as I'm sanding them. And I think it's working pretty good. Holds it in place for the most part. Now to help get some of that uh, trapped sawdust out, you can use a brush or even some compressed air. Once the surface is uh, free from dust and debris, I'm taking a uh, damp towel here and I'm just wiping everything down. And once it dries, it's actually not too bad colors are pretty vibrant and you can see that everything is nice and recessed in with um, the epoxy. Now I'm going to take some food grade mineral oil and try to liven this up a little bit. Now I did wet down the paper towel a few times during this process and you can see how much nicer this is starting to look. And it's definitely a bit slippery as well. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's try picking up one more time here. As you can see, it came out pretty nice. And we're gonna let it dry and take another quick look at it. Now, after letting the mineral oil settle overnight, practically, now we can see what we're looking at. It is actually not that bad for my first attempt. Sure, there were some mistakes, as you can see with the red, but overall, I'm very happy for my first attempt. Definitely some lessons learned here and maybe just sticking to one color for the whole cutting board would be a lot easier, or maybe just one or two. But overall, I'm very happy with how it came out. And if you are interested, WeCreate is actually offering a promotion for Christmas, and the links will be down in the description. You can save a good amount of money. So if you're interested, please go ahead and check them out. I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripods Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you the next time on Tripod's Garage.